Tottenham are still waiting for their first home goal under the new managership of Terry Venables. The two previous matches here at White Hart Lane ended in defeat 2-0 and 1-0, and with injury forcing them to leave out Clive Allen and this season's top scorer Nico Klassen, Tottenham are fielding a team today who've schooled only seven goals between them all season. There's still no Ray Clements or Gary Mabbard, but it's a big day for 19-year-old Paul Moran, who's making his first league appearance here at White Hart Lane. West Ham, who lost both games here last season by an aggregate of 9-0, have similar injury problems, and they've turned once again to the veteran Billy Bonds. Now aged 41 years, 3 months and 11 days, a man who began his league career before Moran and two of his own teammates were even born. Referee today, Mr. John Martin from Hampshire. And it's Spurs who kick off. Attacking the goal to the left, having won only one of the last 12 matches and having slumped from second in the first division behind Liverpool down to 13th. But this, a traditional Christmas holiday fixture in which they score goals. Gary Stevens. Early touch of the ball for Tony Parks, having an extended run in place of the injured Ray Clements. Terrific support on this uh, bank holiday morning, and there's young Moran, a good ball inside to Hodge. Oh, he's missed the target. The first touch in league football for the youngster, who's only 19, and it was a perfect pass to set up Hodge, who surely should have hit the target, and Tottenham have wasted the first opportunity. Well... Terry Venables there in the middle with Alan Harris, is number two to his left as we look. Must be full of dismay. Goals have certainly been hard to come by, and you can't afford to waste chances like that. Fairclough. Ardelis. Now, Moran, faced by Hilton. Good tackle back by Ray Stewart. John Martin sees it as an offence. West Ham's captain intercepting from behind to dispossess Moran, and Tottenham have yet another free kick, but this time in a much more interesting position, right on the edge of the penalty area. And surely an opportunity here for someone of the likes of Waddle to test McAllister in goal. Ardiles is with him. Little discussion between the two Tottenham players. You or me, and there's plenty of white shirts forward, but surely he'll test the keeper. Ardili steps over it. Waddle! Oh, yes! That's the way to do it! Waddle's second goal of the season. And he's first since way back in August. 1-0 Tottenham, and it's no more than they've deserved. And that's the first goal that Venables and Harris have seen Tottenham score here at White Hart Lane. And they've had to wait a long time for it. Oh, nicely inside for Keane. Can West Ham reply early? Over the bar by Brian Statham. Suddenly, this Christmas holiday fixture has come to life in the way that we expected. Brady, again, around Howells. Cotty! Struck it well, but pulled it one of the post. Well, certainly West Ham would like to reply as quickly as possible. No doubt remembering that when Spurs visited Upton Park in September, Spurs won 1-0 with their goal that day by Fairclough. And interestingly enough, on that occasion, Spurs were second in Division One. And that's the half-time whistle. 
a first half, frankly, that was a little disappointing and which didn't really only begin to fizz until Chris Waddle had put in that free kick after 31 minutes. And at half time, it's Tottenham 1, West Ham 0. Nice to see some fresh young faces among the holiday crowd, and of course, it's an extra special treat if your team goes on to win the match. So West Ham start the second half, and they'll certainly be conscious that they'll have to play a lot better in the second 45 minutes if they're to resurrect something from this bank holiday fixture. Haven't won here at White Hart Lane in the league for four seasons, West Ham. There's just one or two of the injured players for Tottenham. Klassen and Method, Mabbott and Clive Allen just biting his nails. Statham, good deep ball to find Moran. And the referee sees that as a foul by Robson. And wants a word for the West Ham right back. He's certainly putting himself about. Six forward in a group for Spurs. Fairclough! That's a corner. Stewart who got there first. Going model places the ball carefully. Down. Oh, fair club off the bar. Still isn't clear. Well, how did West Ham survive? Chris Fairclough, who got the goal against him at West Ham back in September, hits the bar, and then the final effort just too high. Again, a Tottenham ball. In fact, uh, John Martin has decided to help his challenge in the back on Moran was a foul. And so a free kick. It's a similar position from the one that led to Waddle's goal, a little bit further out. Oh, hit the post! It was Howells. David Howells, the header, but hit the foot of the post. And that's twice in the space of a minute that West Ham have found the woodwork rattled. First by Fairclough, then by Howells. That doesn't reach the halfway line. Waddle. Hodges made a run. And that'll be West Ham's throw. Has to steal a few yards, Stuart Robson. Bonds. And this is Brady. Harried by Moran. Keane. Stoughton clears it the second time. Waddle with a bit of space to come forward. Well, that's the result of Waddle really holding the ball too long because there were options on for him. Now Bonds for West Ham. Hilton. Dispossessed by Mitchell Thomas. Ardenas. Moran Waddle Back to Moran Ray Stewart ahead of him Gets around him Oh Warm applause For Paul Moran A fine run Beat Ray Stewart With uh, George Paris there as well the left foot shot from outside the area, curling just a little bit too high of that far right angle. Oh, 
still in play. Hints. And this looks like the first yellow card. And Tottenham players don't like the signs here with Mr. John Martin reaching for his back pocket because there have certainly been one or two, uh, let's say, clumsy challenges. And Brian Statham, who's only 19, wouldn't want to mark his second appearance in the Tottenham first team with a caution. But that's what he gets. And maybe that's the result of the referee deciding it was time to stamp his foot down a little harder. But maybe he could have done it after an earlier incident. Brady. Looking for Robson. Hilton's forward. This is Robson. And away from Mitchell Thomas. West Ham's throw. And the West Ham support at that end of the ground. Feeling they now have something to shout about. Hilton! Cotty! Hilton! It's 1 1! Paul Hilton! And look at the celebration! Paul Hilton's first goal of the season. And he has to thank Tony Cotty, doesn't he? Hilton got the first header from the corner. Cotty cut it back. And it was there hanging, inviting for Hilton. And it's one apiece. Just listen to the West Ham voices. Robson. And that's certainly keeping the feet warm. Forced to check by Brady. Now Waddle. One way out. That was deflected. And that'll be a corner. He was quite right to stay on his line with that fierce wind blowing into his face and watch that ball all the time. Deflection came off Stewart, took him with a corner. Fairclough's at the near post, Mitchell Thomas at the far post, taken by Waddle. Waddle kept it in play. Second contact. And at this point, West Ham decide that maybe discretion calls for the pulling off of Mark Ward, who's just been booked and who certainly appeared to speak towards John Lyle in the dugout there in a manner which didn't look too friendly. He's gone straight to the dressing room. And West Ham have sent on Gary Strode at number 14. Gary Strodder cost £100,000 when he came from Lincoln City in March this year. A 
Terry Venables already on his feet. And there's the fire whistle. Little salute from Terry Venables. Has seen his Tottenham team finally score a goal at White Hart Lane and win their second match under his management. Fairclough have got the winning goal, having beaten West Ham at Upton Park in September. A, a fixture which Tottenham traditionally win, but by a narrower scoreline this year than in the past. The final score is Tottenham 2, West Ham 1.